Hi Virgo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. This is going to be what are their true intentions in love. All right. Hope you guys are all well. And this is going to be your reading, right, with your person. And uh, this is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, right? If you don't, uh, if you don't see your, you know, if this doesn't resonate, and uh, go check your Sun, and uh, I mean your Moon and your Rising uh, videos. All right. Let's see what we have, you guys, or you can check back in the next upload. So let's get started here. And Virgo, I've already pulled a charm for you and your person, right? The charm you have is the shoe. And, you know, this shoe is like a very elegant shoe. This is a pump, right? This can talk about walking away or taking steps maybe to uh, maybe walk towards something, right? It doesn't always have to be kind of on the negative side, walking away. Uh, although the Ten of Arrows is showing up here, right? Your person got the, uh, the Christmas tree, which could be, you know, it could be saying that there is something indicative in December, right? We know the Christmas tree, uh, you know, uh, stands for uh, stands for Christ, basically, and December, right? There could be somebody here also who is maybe uh, born in, you know, uh, with the name Christian or Christina, something like that, right? Uh, this could be the month of December. I feel like is very indicative with this uh, with this uh, tree, right? Maybe not everybody believes in Christ, but. Uh, the tree, the Christmas tree can then, in that case, can talk about like December. So let's get into the reading. Right now, the Ten of Arrows is, uh, this is your past energy. This is wisdom gained through like some experience, uh, right? Wisdom gained uh, from being in a love relationship. You could have really learned a lot. It is also the end of a difficult situation with the Ten of Arrows. The, you know, the translation in this card is really the equivalent is the Ten of Swords, right? Which we know is the end of a really hard situation, right? In love. The King of Cups is showing up here. And the King of Cups is really in this deck. His name is Mark in this deck. Maybe there's somebody named Mark, right? Of course. But the King of Cups is also about, like, uh, this could be somebody who is an artist sometimes, right? We know the Queen and the King of Cups are all about artistry and intuition. Mm-hmm and a mastery in emotional wisdom. This is showing up right now. There could be, you know, you could, I feel like you have learned a lot in a love relationship. Maybe you, maybe you were married to somebody or maybe just a union, right? But regardless, you have learned. And uh, <clears throat> I feel like you are mastering uh, like love, basically, just through, you know, emotional maturity, and also, uh, you know, maybe you are living up to your dreams now in love. This can, the King of Cups can talk about like living up to your dreams. Yeah, like it can talk about maybe manifesting somebody that you really, really want. Uh, I feel like you've gone through something really hard here, right? And the King of Cups can also be, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. All right. So let's get into the reading here and uh, let's look at the block between you and your person. And it is the Nine of Swords. This is worry. Okay, somebody's very worried here. We already have the 10 over here. And uh, what you want here is the page of swords. Yeah, this is what you want, or your desires, your hopes, and what you are concerned about or worried, like your fear is going to be justice. You can be worried about a divorce when we see the 10 of arrows and the justice card, right? Your person's past energy is going to be the Knight of Cups, they could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, as I mentioned. And the Six of Swords uh, is showing up for them in their current energy. They look like they're leaving here. They look like they are leaving. Yeah, and they could be this, you know, this King of Cups. Because right above the Six of Swords is the King of Cups, right? Is Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And the block for them is going to be the Five of Cups. They have uh, a really sad ending here. Yeah, they do. And maybe this is regret, but I feel like this is... Uh, it could be a sad ending instead. Yeah, I mean, you know, regret comes in different forms. It does, you guys, kind of like, you know, uh, cherry candy, right? We can have cherry candy that is natural sugar, or we can have some, you know, fake sugar. <laughs> but, uh, you know, right here is, uh, this is a sad ending. That's not funny, the cherry candy thing. I thought it was kind of silly, but uh, this is a sad ending for your person. It's blocking them, yeah, so we know that. They're kind of dealing with a harsh situation right here. And what they want in their desires is the Eight of Swords. So nobody really wants this, right? So this means that your person is in this energy and that they want to leave that energy, right? They want to release themselves. And this card is a card of them wanting to release themselves from something they feel like they are stuck in. So it's kind of a catch-22 energy. 
it is fear and it is kind of restriction where how do I get out of this? How do I leave this energy, right? How do I uh, diss this and leave it behind? And uh, yeah, it is somebody who kind of feels immobilized in some way. Like, well, if I go this way, um, I'm not going to win. If I go that way, it's not going to work for me either. It's kind of a, it's not a good place to be, you know, your person. And in their uh, fear or concern is temperance. Okay, they could be a Sagittarius. They could be worried about a Sagittarius, right? Mm-hmm. Your person could be worried about getting a divorce because of a Sagittarius Virgo, or maybe they are, as I said, Sagittarius, right? Temperance is Sagittarius. Uh, this is their fear. They could be worried about trying to maybe uh, ground a situation or bring healing. Sometimes temperance, you know, is uh, the angel is here, and she is kind of spiritually grounding herself between heaven and earth. That's really what it is, right? Uh, because the rainbow is here in the sky, right? Mm -hmm. Really kind of, it's it's a really nice energy. It is about harmony and cooperation, right? Yeah. So let's see here. Uh, your, let's see where you're at right now in the recent past. You could have had a really uh, harsh ending with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, right? We have to look at the cards, uh, not just collectively, not just separately, not just horizontally, but we also look at the cards vertically. This is kind of how we do it. And uh, so this is, you know, your energy over here, the Ten of Arrows, Virgo. Yeah, you had a really tough, uh, in the past, in the recent past. I feel like you, the, the most difficult part is over, yeah, with the Ten of Arrows. And let's see, let's get a card on this King of Cups here. Um, let's see what we have for Virgo. And we have the Three of Cups. So right now, you could be, it's possible you ended something here. It could be regarding a third party. It could be, right? We, we, everybody knows what we know, right? Uh, well, people who watch readings, right? Three of Cups is a third party. I feel like there is a third party here because there's a lot of, like, sadness here. And maybe you are, uh, maybe also, you could be Virgo. Maybe you are uh, reuniting with somebody here. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe it's a Queen of Cups. Maybe it's a Sagittarius. It's going to depend, right? The King is here, not the Queen. And let's see, maybe it's a Libra even, because Justice is here. Okay, these are the cards. These are the people we have so far. Uh, if they indeed are, you know, people, right? You know the court cards can definitely be people. And let's see... Uh, let's get one more card on this Three of Cups. The Empress. Yeah, for me, there's a third party here. Yes, okay, somebody. For somebody out there, if you guys are not in the third party, or you didn't, or you weren't, uh, you know, that's very good, all right? Yeah, it's good for you, because we don't, right now, we don't need more of that energy with what's already going on, right? They're throwing stuff at us left and right. So let's see what we got, and... Uh, yeah, let's we'll stay focused on the reading. And in the block for you, Virgo, the, you're, you're worried, I feel like. You are worried about a situation. You could be worried about trying to reunite with somebody. I feel like you went through an ending here, and now you want to reunite with somebody. The flip side about this is maybe you're uh, worried your person is going to reunite with somebody else because they look like they're leaving right here. Six of Swords. Page of Cups. Yeah, you're worried about some type of a love offer. And in your desire is going to be the nine of pentacles this is your desire so uh for me you want to be single mm -hmm. wow that's the card of being single and abundant right and she's you know she's sporting these clothes from you know way back in the day and that was the the style then right thank goodness it's still not the style <laughs> and let's see what we got and let's see and now we have the Four of Swords, uh, and I'm putting it here with the Nine of Pentacles because it kind of meant it meant for it to be here. I feel like in your desires, you uh, you could want to heal a situation. The Four of Swords can be healing. Mm -hmm. I think you're t totally in your head about healing a situation with somebody. Uh, yeah, I feel like in the past. You learned a lot here, and this is ending right now, though. That's because look at your person. They're leaving here. Yeah, the Six of Swords next to the Five of Cups. These are both leaving, kind of, or endings. And I feel like you had a really difficult situation that is really over, and now you are leaving your situation, or your person's leaving you. Okay. And in your fear is justice. I feel like you're worried about 
maybe a Libra, but you look like you're worried about a divorce here. That's how this looks here. Uh, you could be worried uh, maybe about a truth. Sometimes justice is the truth. You could be worried about fairness and balancing the scales with someone as well. So let's have a look here and let's see. We have the Three of Pentacles. You look like you are worried here or fearing that you cannot bring justice to a situation. Maybe a third party. Or I shouldn't really always say third party, uh, even though there is one here. I feel like there is. But regardless, uh, what I mean here is that you are uh, in fear here. I feel like you want to work on a partnership with somebody. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you want to work on a relationship with somebody here. And it is not the same person here in the past. I believe it is not, okay? This person here, for some of you, maybe, but there's too many endings here. Yeah, so I feel like this is with somebody else. Could be a Sagittarian. The Wheel of Fortune is here. And it's right above Temperance, right? And that is your person's card. Uh, that is, you know, showing up in their energy. And, uh, yeah, interesting here. Mm -hmm. And you could be fearing things are not going to go your way. The Wheel of Fortune. We always want the Wheel of Fortune to turn in our favor, right? That's why when we were kids... We were playing those little games, right? The Cracker Jack, let's see what we could get. Uh, sometimes, you know, or anything when we were kids, I remember, right? Even when you go to the Festa Fair and the festival, oh, turn the wheel. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune, right? Yeah. So let's see what we have. There could be a Sagittarian in this reading, though there could, right? So let's see. Let's look at your person's past energy. I feel like, yeah, you are worried about some type of a union that you want to manifest for yourself. It is with a third party when we see the Empress and the Three of Cups uh, together, right? Yeah, and you went through something harsh in the recent past. Your person's energy right now is the Knight of Cups. This is the recent past, rather, underneath this Ten of Swords kind of uh, energy. And uh, the Knight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles in the, re in the recent past for them. So they were either left out or they left you out. It's that simple. The Knight of Cups... Because of, in you know, regarding some love offer, or they are the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, all right? Or somebody here is. So in this reading, there is you, and of course, two other people in this reading, I believe, and uh, they could be a water sign. It's possible they could be a fire sign or an air sign, too, because of justice. So let's see. Currently, their current energy is the Six of Swords. Here they are leaving, right? And this is, in this reading, this is physically leaving because of this Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Arrows. This is not just, uh, I want to get to a calmer place in my union. This is really leaving. Okay, I feel like it is. And now they have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So this could be, they could be leaving right now. Maybe they thought you were a player, but this, oh, this is the Six of Wands. I beg your pardon. That looks just like the Knight of Wands. Your person is leaving. They're not able to overcome some type of, I think, a third party. And they can be leaving because you're going to have victory, right, with somebody else. Six of Wands reversed. It's like somebody having, uh, like, this victory is not in their favor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they could be leaving because here, because they think you're concerned about this union over here. They think you're going to go get that union. Yeah, that's what they think. They think, well, my Virgo is going to go and be with someone else. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. And they have the Five of Cups. Here they are, super sad, Virgo. Yeah, they're grieving over here, right? And uh, let's get one more card on the block. That is blocking them, this grievance, right? This uh, sadness, the tower. Yeah, wow. This is a block for them. This is uh, a huge disruption in their life, a major disruption, like a major life change. And uh, this could be also, it's possible this is a powerful realization for them that you are moving away from them. Uh, or that they have to move away from you because of somebody else, right? But this is an ending, definitely. And <clears throat> they could, the tower is also an ending, right? But this is uh, really, your person's really going through it. Uh, long story short, cut to the chase. <laughs> and let's see what else we have. And what they want is the Eight of Swords and the King of Swords. They look like they want to make a decision here. Uh, Sometimes the King of Swords, when we see justice, could be a Libra, that simple, but it could be that they want something in court here, like they do, because the King of Swords <coughs> can be a lawyer. <coughs> yeah, he can. Hopefully uh, an honest one. <laughs> oh, those people are few and far in between, right? Especially if it has to do with uh, anything that is like uh, super big or a lot of money involved. So 
Let's stay on the reading. The fool is in the reverse now. This is what your person wants. They, I feel like what they are doing is they want to release themselves from a situation where you're making a decision to uh, have, like, take a leap of faith, take a chance with somebody else here. This somebody who you are very concerned about over here. This empress, who in this reading so far looks like uh, a Libra or a Sagittarian or a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Mm, Aries is here too. Oh, well, the King of Swords is here. It could be Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra too. Yeah, okay. There's a lot of folks are show, starting to show up here, all right? But the Majors seems like uh, the Majors could be, uh, it could be a lot of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have, you guys. <clears throat> I feel like Sagittarius is a little prominent here. And uh, <clears throat> let's look at their fears, though. Uh, regardless about who it's about yeah and I feel like there is in this reading Virgo you could be dealing with Pisces Cancer Scorpio I said that right of course because your your second card in the reading is the King of Cups so that is super strong here right and also now we have Temperance in their fear the moon card they could be this Pisces Cancer or Scorpio they could be fearing here that you have a secret and that secret's name is Sagittarius or Pisces Cancer or Scorpio so let's see here and let's get one more card, and now they have the Five of Wands. Your person is, this is their fear, uh, they're fearing this struggle and this turmoil regarding the situation. So we're going to go over to, uh, not to Vimeo, you guys, uh, right now, uh, I'm going to put the link below for the extendeds, and uh, in the meantime, I may be loading them to uh, uh, a separate platform here, or I might just be, uh, I might have to send you, I'm going to put the link below, and you can, I can send it right away. Thank you so much for joining me. My website is under construction, and that's where the extendeds are going to be. Uh, you guys rock, and uh, yeah, thank you so much. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you need your own reading, it's always the best way, right? Right now we are in Scorpio. Uh, it's like a Scorpio uh, retrograde, and there's a lot of planets that are kind of uh, making things difficult for all of us. So if you guys need your own reading, you can certainly get one. Thanks so much, guys.